Ready for a fish room update? Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian coming at you with a fish room update for uh, May of 2017. Um, We'll start up here in my office uh, and take a look at Cheeto's tank. Sorry for the reflection in the background there, but um, Cheeto's been doing good. Um, keeps me company up in my office here while I'm working during the day. Um, not much new to say about him, um, but uh, you know he's doing real well and haven't had any problems with him. The loaches in the tank are all doing real well also. Um, and this guy's doing real good too. So, got the albino pleco back there also. So not a ton to say about him, so I guess I won't spend a ton of time on, on him. Let's see if we can get him to... Anyway, um, the 90 gallon here in the office, um, I'm slowly tearing down. Going to do something different here. Um, been selling off the Monte Carlo and the Fissidens uh, Fontanus in the tank. So if you're interested in either of those plants, let me know. I'll get you a real good deal. Um, but I've sold off a lot of it, but there's still some left. The light's not even on yet for the day, and there's nothing really to look at, so I won't bother turning it on. I will head downstairs. Um, the uh, discus tank here in the living room is gone. I'm just going to give you a quick sneak peek. Not much to see here. I'll talk about that later. Kind of leave that a little bit of a surprise. Um, coming downstairs, start with my uh, Comfa 9.9. This is Colossus. Um, if you're new to this channel or don't know what a Comfa is, it's a type of flower horn. Um, he's doing real well. Been seeing some growth out of him lately. Really awesome coloring. Nuchal humps looking good, not uh, crazy over enlarged, but just nice. So um, this guy has just always been just a really cool fish, so I'm really glad to have him. Down below is uh, the other Midas, male and female. Um, they're both doing well also. So that's those guys. Uh, Redis latest grow outs. Still got them. Getting big. Got these guys on power feed now, so they've really been growing. There's kind of the dominant biggest one right there. But uh, got all six of them in here still. Uh, down below there's just a pleco and um, a handful of red devil fry that are growing out that I had from my last batch that didn't either die or get sold off. Not a ton going on over here, so I won't really focus in on it, but just some fry and stuff like that going on. Uh, the other flower horn is right here. Major glare there, so I'm sorry about that. I don't know that you'll be able to get a true idea of his coloration, but uh, this guy's doing well. Down below here, I removed... Um, the one Hadiensis pair that I had in with another pair kind of had in there, had them in there using them as dithers or targets to try to get them to breed. And I don't know if it worked or not, they bred. But these guys were just always hiding and getting picked on, so I pulled them out, gonna let them heal up. They're still in great condition, and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, another Hadiensis pair here. This male is getting really big. I mean, not really big, but he's growing a lot since I've gotten him, so that's that's positive. These guys bred once. I think I talked about it in my last video, and there was some fry in there at that point. I pulled a bunch of fry. There's still a few left in here. Can't really see any of them right now. But these guys are doing good also. 
real good. The uh, the motors here, they're doing good as well. Still haven't been get, able to get this guy's tail to heal up. I hope that it's not permanently like that. They've been doing some lip locking and stuff. You can see she's a little bit scarred up on the right above her lips there. I have a feeling they're going to breed soon again. Um, just with their behavior lately. Her tail got a little bit too in their recent scuff up, I guess you'd call it. But yeah, these guys are doing great as well. Other than a little bit of cosmetic damage, if you will. Heading over here to the Redis Latis. <clears throat> this guy's doing good. Female's doing good. She's down in this tube right now. Probably not going to come out for the video. Not a ton to say about these guys other than they continue to not spawn. Which is fine with me, really. I'm not really worried about it too much um, they spawn about once a year it seems like and uh, you know it is what it is down below here is the other Hadiensis pair these are the this is the pair that um, I would say is the better pair of all the ones I've got the female is typically jet black she's a little light right now there's been some stress in this tank because I had to pull all the decoration and stuff out in order to do a couple of things recently. It was like two days ago and so they're a little skittish compared to their normal selves. These guys had a good <clears throat> clutch of uh, fry, most of which I've pulled and are in the fry tanks over there. But they're doing really good. She's got a little bit of damage to her lips from some recent lip locking that they've been doing too. but. This male, I just really dig his coloration, man. I don't know what it is about it, but for some reason, he I just like the way he looks better than the other male on the other tank over there. But anyway, they're, they're great fish, and I'm really happy. There's a couple of the leftover fry. There's a female. Um, moving up here, <clears throat> we've got the, uh, the Umbi pair. These are real Magdalena Umbies, F1s. Um, they come from Mike Mann's pair, Magnus and Beast. Or this one, this, this, the male does, I should say. The female, I can't remember exactly where she comes from, but I've got it written down. She's in this tube right now, hanging out. He's doing real nice. He's hungry. All those lights in the background though just make this shot not look so good but when you got your tanks kind of in a U area you're gonna just run into that so there's not much that can be done. I wish you'd come out so you could see her but and then we've still got Orion here up to all of his same old usual tricks. <laughs> So thinking I may get rid of this pair if the right scenario comes along locally. Too big to ship. <laughs> um, she's sitting back here guarding a big pile of wigglers. Oh, they're starting to kind of free swim here now this morning. You can see them in the back of the pot there. So obviously they had a recent spawn. The video I put out of these guys with um, some fry recently, that was an old video that I just hadn't gotten around to uploading. Um, that was from their prior spawn. Oh, there's a bunch of them out here too. So they're making their way out of the... Uh, Pot. 
Anyway, that's about it for this update. Uh, I'll do a shrimp update as well, so you guys can see the shrimp. But uh, for now, um, that's about it. Um, thank you to everybody that watches these videos and subscribes and comments and likes. Uh, make sure you share this. Um, let other people know about my channel. If, if, if not, if you're new to my channel or new, this is the first time you're seeing one of my videos, make sure you do subscribe so you can get my um, updates that I put out uh, regularly. Try to look down this guy's mouth here. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Uh, have a great, uh, great rest of your day, and uh, until next time, stay tuned.